Hey everyone, it's Yvette of Future here with another product announcement for Voltage Modular. Uh, this is a vapor droplet. It is the first in our vapor series of LFOs and we will have two more LFOs launched very soon, the 17th of March 2023, so keep your eyes open for those. Uh, for now we're looking at vapor droplet. This is our free entry into the vapor LFO environment. Uh, so let me take you into Voltage Modeler so we can take a look at all the features and knobs and things you can do with this great little module. So uh, let's go. All right, so welcome in Voltage. And here we have Vapor Droplet right next to its bigger brother Vaporwaves, which will be coming very soon. But I just wanted to quickly show you that uh, Vapor Droplet is one lane of Vaporwaves uh, LFO. And that's all the vapor waves you will see for today. Um, vapor droplet comes in four colors. It will randomly load a color when you put it in, and it will randomly load a color when you open a project. So that's fun. Um, right now, if it's connected to Weavil's oscilloscope, very nice tool. And we will just go through the controls from the top to the bottom. So at the top, we have the shape control. Uh, we start with a sine wave. In this corner, you will find a triangle wave. In this corner, you will find a saw. And in this corner, you will find a square. Now, the fun thing here is you can actually go through the shapes. So you can make uh, saw a sine waves. You can make squarish triangle waves and all sorts of weird shapes in between. That's pretty neat. So let's keep it at a sine wave for now. Underneath you find the rate. The rate has two controls. You have the range of the rate, and then you have the actual rate control. So the range is set to five hertz, meaning that at the max setting it will be five hertz. And at the lowest setting it is zero. So we can turn it all the way down, which will give me zero hertz. And we can turn it all the way up which will give me five hertz. Now, if I change this value, 10 for instance, the midpoint will give me five hertz and the bottom obviously is still zero hertz. It'll go all the way up to 20 hertz. And this is very nice if you want to do small changes because if for instance you know I want to be around 3 hertz you can just put range at 3 and now you have very fine control over your rate and this thing can go very slow so if you want to do uh, 0.000, .000 uh, hertz you can totally do that uh, actually let me quickly show you how slow we can go so here we have the voltmeter Full in there, so that's still going. So we can actually go that slow, <laughs> which is very slow. So if you want to go slower than uh, 0.0001 hertz, you uh, you totally can. So that should be great for all the people that want slow elbows. Right underneath here, you have a CV input. So you can actually modulate the rate control. Faster and slower. And we have a sync control. Now the sync control works with a divider and a counter. Uh, so right now it's set to 1 8, so this 1 8th, you can also go to 1 4, or the other way, 1 16, 32, 64. And obviously you can go into weird odd things like 3 over 7, or 5 over 4, 5 over 7, whatever you desire. And these settings are saved independently. So if you switch it from synced to unsynced, it will remember the last position of your dials. All right, moving down, we get phase control. Right now it's at neutral phase. 
you can move the face left and right. Uh, obviously on the oscilloscope that's not all that obvious <laughs> because the oscilloscope of course centers. So let's get in a second to actually show you this. So we need to have the state the same and the rate the same. Okay, so that should be good. So now when we start moving the face, You can see it moving forwards and backwards. So that's your face control. And while we're on it, let me get a trigger in here. Because the next control we have is the trigger. Which allows you to re-trigger. Obviously that was kind of a dumb idea because that doesn't work like that. So you can re-trigger your LFO. You can also use the little button if you want to. You can also do it with CV. And the face can also be modulated if you want to. Once again with an attenuator. Can create some pretty crazy shapes. Underneath the face you will find sample and hold, which is a very cool. So let me just quickly reduce it back to one. Let's go into sample and hold. Now there's a pretty big part of the range where you don't see too much of the sample and hold, but once you dial it down, you can get some pretty nice sample and hold. Sample and hold can also be modulated if you want to. And you can also sync the sample and hold. So if you want to have a sample and hold that sample and holds every quarter note, for instance, uh, in which case we need a little bit more rate to actually be able to see it. There we go. Samples every quarter notes. And you can also uh, turn this down slower or a lot faster. Bonus feature here is a smoothing. You can actually smooth it out. And underneath we have the output with the attenuator so you can make your waves bigger or smaller let's scale it down a little bit there we go and here you also have a offset so if you want to offset your LFO you can offset it above and below the zero line as you see very nice little feature right there. So that's Vapor Droplet by Rware and the Synthetic Future. I hope you really enjoy it and find good use for it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below when I will answer them. I will also leave some links to both VM and Vapor Droplet so you can download them yourself. For now, that's it. Uh, we'll see each other the 17th for the next announcement. And until then, have a great day.